I'd like to take a few minutes to go over memo format so that when you're completing um, assignments you have a good idea or you know the format that I want your memo to appear in. This is a template that I downloaded from um, Microsoft Word and I tweaked it a little bit but it, and, and it works really well. Um, see where it says memo up here and where the memo is um, when you get a um, group and you guys select an icon or a picture that represents the group you can put that there. Um, same thing with down here with where it says company currently I have Thomas Nelson Community College for now just go ahead and leave that um, however when you get your group um, your group name can go there at that time. So the next section um, that you need to pay attention to is this section that says two. I want you to notice that everything is left for or left justified. You can see up here in this little button that it's all left justified. It's also single spaced. Make sure that you are single spacing. Um, the other thing to pay attention to, the two from date and re um, are all again left spaced. And then, then you're tabbed over to um, the uh, who it's to and then you fill in this information so the two most of your assignments will have they, they will tell you all of your assignments will tell you who the memo goes to whether it goes to your instructor me Dawn Hayden or it goes to um, somebody in a particular case study um, Mrs. Jams or something um, you'll have the person's name you need the person's first name and last name. If the person has a title, you would put the title, first name, last name. Okay. Um, then it's from. That's your name. Your name will go there. Um, you are the author. Um, next is the date. And I suggest that this is the due date for the assignment, whatever the you know assignment is due. And in the the re, which is what the email, or I'm sorry, the um, memo is about. You want to um, give this a title that the reader can understand. So for example, if this is uh, chapter two is on ethics, so I might say ethics in a website or ethics, ethical websites or something like that. And then after your title, you want to put chapter two, exercise three, so that it's very clear where this assignment came from and the page number, page 39. So make sure you have all of that information. The, ex, the next element of design is the line. There's a line here. You can make the line um, move up if you want to. Um, oh, that made it down. But I think it's fine where it is. Um, and then you see we have sections. I want you to notice that they are headings. They are in bold. Okay. Again, everything continues to be left justified. We never change. You can see up here we're staying left justified. So our heading first is purpose. Now depending on the assi assignment, summary might be a better heading, um, a discussion, whatever it is that's going to be the appropriate for the memo. So I want you to um, make sure that your memo uh, headings ha are appropriate and contextual. They have to do with what the topic is about. Um, so the purpose or the summary is the, a brief summary of the purpose of your memo. So what is it that you're going to talk about um, in this memo? What is the purpose of the memo? To provide information about the Clark and Smith case. Um, so it, it needs to be a complete sentence. Um, so you could say this memo provides a brief summary of the Clark and Smith case. Okay. Um, the next thing you need to pay attention to that's right here is skip a line between sections or paragraphs. So you need to have this line skipped here. And then the next subheading is usually discussion. Again, it depends on, you know, make it contextual to the assignment, but discussion works for here. And so this is the body of the memo. This is where your paragraphs go, your discussion of, um, what's happening. Um, this is where all the information goes. Okay. The next, then you've skipped a line. 
And this section, the discussion section, can be several pages. It can be one paragraph. Um, it just depends on the project. Okay. So then your recommendation. Um, and again, this sometimes you're not making a recommendation. You might be just concluding something. You might just be um, s summarizing something. So use the headings as make the heading titles appropriate to the content. Don't feel like you have to stick with these. If you're not making a recommendation, don't write recommendation, just write conclusion. But your recommendation area, your conclusion area, is the conclusion of the memo. You're summing up what you've talked about. You're talking about, um, you might say, so I suggest that we do X, Y, and Z. Or you might say further study needs to occur on this and this and this. Um, whatever it is that summarizes up the, the points that you're trying to make in, uh, in the memo. Um, the other thing you need to be aware of was with page numbers. I do not have a page number down here because this template is only one page in length. When you're writing a one page memo, you do not need page numbers. However, when you're writing a document that has more than one page in it, you will need to go up to insert and page number and you'll put it at the bottom of the page and on the right hand side, just like that. And then it's all good to go. Okay. So that's how you do that. So you've got your memo template. You'll download it from Blackboard. You've got it all here. Um, and then what you're going to do to save it for a particular assignment, I've got file, I'll go to save as, and I'll save this as memo chapter two exercise three. Okay, just so I better not put that period in there because that can mess things up. Do underscore, wah. okay, underscore. So, woo, two. Yeah, there we go. Memo 2, exercise 3. And then I'm going to save it. For me, I just save stuff on my desktop. So save it on my desktop. So there it is. So now I've got it, and it's all ready to go. Um, and I still have, if you look at my, well, I'm not going to do that. But on my desktop, I still have both the original template, and then I have this one, which is um, my response to Chapter 2. So that's the best way that I can suggest um, for you to work memos because it's really important that you follow this format. I'm going to grade you on it. Um, a significant portion of your assignments uh, that you hand in during the first part of the semester, um, uh, there'll be a, uh, probably half your points will be to memo format. So and and. I'm going over this in a video because I've had so many issues with it and it's a little bit difficult, more difficult to explain online than it is face to face. So I just want you to be aware that everything here is aligned. Everything here is left justified. You've got your title or your business, your icon will go up there and then you've got your headings and your paragraphs. And again, we only have a page number if we have more than one page in the doc in for the document. So if you have questions, post them in the I have a question forum. And if not, then happy writing memos. And I'll see you again soon.